Hi there, welcome to another painting tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can paint a pomegranate. So let's get started. And let's start with a large size 11 filbert. And I wanna use a beige color paint. So I have a pre-mixed beige. And then I wanna add some titanium white into that paint. And let's put that in the center. And also, yes, just actually into the center and I want quite a bit of white paint on there as well but I want this to be kind of a glaze and I'm just trying to go around this layer here and if you want this sketch you can just find it in the description below and you can just download it and then transfer it onto your paper or onto your canvas and then paint along with me. Okay, so we're just getting this light white beige into the center. And I'm kind of putting a little bit more white towards the middle. Okay, and then you can let that dry. And then I want a little bit more precision, so I'm gonna switch. I have a size six filbert. And then I wanna do a lighter, brighter shade of red. So I have a nice vermilion, which is a little bit of a warmer red, kind of an orange red tone. And then I have a maroon. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of maroon mix it into that red just to brighten it or darken it a little bit and then i want to go all around the pomegranate so these areas here i'm kind of using the edge of the brush to get a little bit of an angle and then just carefully try to go around the edge and then into this area right here. Try to use the right amount of pressure to get the correct thickness that you need for this line. And then you could use fewer brush strokes and that just makes a cleaner, more precise line. And I'm coming to this side. You might need to dampen your brush a little bit and then make sure that you have enough paint on your brush. Okay, and then you can let that part dry and let's rinse that brush off. And let's move to the smaller pomegranate. So for that, I can take my size 11 filbert. If you have a smaller brush, maybe a nine would be a little bit better. So I'm gonna take that bright red and then let's see if we can cover the pomegranate in the back. I'm trying to get a clean edge I have enough paint on my brush and that's helping me to get a nice clean edge. And I'm thinking about the direction of form. It's a spherical shape, so I'm trying to make these brush strokes kind of curve. Okay, and then I'm gonna pick up some more red paint and I'm gonna come down and do that on this part. So sometimes if your paint is too dry or it's been kind of on your stay wet palette for too long and it's kind of hardened, then that can make it a lot harder to get clean lines. So that's something to keep in mind, just refreshing the paint when you need to and realizing when it's time. 
Okay, so we have this bright, beautiful red. I'm gonna stick with this brush and put some lower values or our darker values. So for that, I'm gonna take the vermilion paint and I'm gonna put a touch of the maroon and see if we can mix up a darker red. We definitely want it darker, but we don't want it too many steps in the on the value scale so that it's too harsh. And then let's see if we can put that around the edge. This is gonna make a nice shadow. Okay, you can see how that is darker. Okay, and I'm gonna take a little bit more maroon. And I'm kind of letting these colors kind of mix together on the brush as well. Okay, now I'm gonna put, I kind of put the shadow in the sketch. So I'm gonna try to put that in. It's getting a little bit too dark, so let's add a little more of our base color. I just wanna be careful because I want it to be a darker shade, but I don't want it to be too much of a jump in value so that it looks, I don't want it to look too harsh. Okay, and then I'm gonna get kind of a damp brush and see if I can blend that a little bit. Just blend it out with the damp brush. Okay, so I think that looks good. I'm gonna take this size six filbert and let's put a dark, I'm gonna take a straight dark maroon and put it in the center or just kind of fill in that whole shape here that's kind of like the stem. Okay and then kind of let that dry. Let's move to the leaves. So I have a size six flat brush. And for the leaves, I want to just, I'm gonna keep it fairly simple. I have this hooker's green, and I wanna add a little bit of blue to that. So whatever blue you have, uh, my blues are kind of dried up. So take a bluish green and let's put it on the top. And then I'm gonna reload. And then I'm gonna put this color on the bottom, or yes, the bottom leaf here. And for the leaves, you don't have to do too much detail. They're kind of an afterthought in the background. Okay, and then I can kind of rinse that off. Let's take another shade that's lighter. I have this kind of mossy green color. And let's put that on the other leaves. And I like using flat brushes to make leaves because it really it works well. It covers a lot of area and you can get into that point at the end of the leaf with the point of the brush, or the sharp edge of the brush, rather. Okay, so they're just two different colors there, and we'll let that dry. Okay, so for the next step, let's put in our little center areas for the pomegranate seeds. So I'm using a size four filbert and I wanna get this red color and then try to follow your sketch and you just wanna make little circles. And we're trying to make them kind of random, make some larger, make some bigger. And I'm starting out by just going around the curve of that sketch. 
Again, it helps here to have some nice flowing paint and kind of a thick application of paint as well. Nice fresh paint, it's gonna help you get some nice um, circle shapes in kind of an easier way. Okay, so this part, just really take your time. Make some nice circles. Like I said, try to make it random because that's gonna give you a more natural appearance. Okay, so I'm gonna continue this. I'll probably speed up the video and then I'll show you the next step once this is done. So next I'm gonna take some, I'm gonna take my size zero spotter and then I'm gonna take some white paint and I'm gonna put a few defining lines along the painting. So let's go around this little stem here with the white paint. Just making some, kind of some curved shapes. And then underneath there's a little bit of protruding area that I'm gonna make for the base. I'm gonna take that again and put some white lines around the top of this part kind of kind of goes it's kind of like along the edge of the little stem here. Okay, and then I wanna let that dry. Let's see if we could put a highlight. So I'm gonna take the size six flat and let's see if we could take a little bit of titanium white. I wanna kind of dab it off on my paper towel and then see if I can get right in the center there just a small highlight. Be very careful not to overdo that. So that looked good there. Okay, and then while that's drying, we'll go back to the size zero spotter. And I wanna take this dark maroon color and then I'm gonna carefully go around all of these little seeds that I made. So pause the video, take your time, go around all of the little seeds. I'm going to speed up my video and then meet you back when that step is complete. Okay, next let's take some, we have that same brush, the Zero Spotter. Let's take some titanium white. Let's put a few little dots in the center of this guy here and then let's take some dots of white and put them in the center of the berries or the seeds and that's really going to make them look three-dimensional and make them pop and I don't know if I would do every single one I might leave some undone but you can kind of decide which ones you really want to stand out and which ones you want to highlight. So I think that looks good there. Okay, so now for some finishing touches. I want, I'm gonna take my size six filbert and I'm gonna take some of this beige color and I wanna put some beige on top of this white just because I want it to, I don't want it to stand out as much and I want it to blend in. And then I'm gonna do that same thing for the stem of the pomegranate over here, just glazing over a beige tone. And then for that piece underneath, it's kind of a darker red so we'll take some red, maybe mixed with a little maroon, and then kind of cover that. Okay, 
and then I might take some more maroon, mix it with some of the red, and then I'm going to put a little bit inside, kind of reinstate some of these center areas. Okay, and then I would probably just for a last step, I would take some of this. I have like an evergreen shade, which is a darker value of green, and I'm going to put that along the leaves where I want there to be a shadow. So just on the under, underneath side. Okay. All right, so I think we'll call that complete. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe if you want to see more and paint along with me. Thanks for watching. Bye.